Hi, this is Alex from PHP Academy with a short review on an IDE I've recently come across called Code Lobster. The reason I'm doing this review is I came across this IDE and for beginners, just, just sort of going into intermediate, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, and I'm going to go through uh, various reasons why I think this is as well. So this isn't going to be a massive review. We're not going to look at every single element to this, but we're going to look at the mainly the positives uh, for this. Um, obviously, with IDEs, um, you know you can get too dependent on one IDE. If you're going to learn with one IDE, then switch over to maybe working with a group of people that use a different one. That's a you know a downside generally over IDEs. Um, and by the way, the acronym ID is Integrated Development Environment. Um, so it's basically a, an environment that you can write in that isn't just a plain text editor. Uh, we have various things that we can do as well. So um, we're going to look at some of the good points of uh, Code Lobster PHP edition. So the first thing that, as you'd expect from any good IDE, we have type hinting. So if I was to say name equals Alex. Uh, you could already see we get some type hinting up here um, as well. Um, but again, if I was to say str to, we've got some things like str to lower, um, function type hinting, stuff like that. Now that leads me on to this brilliant index here. And we're not just limited to PHP here. Uh, it's more than likely you're going you're gonna to be using HTML, CSS, MySQL, you know, JavaScript. Um, and again, things like jQuery, so libraries for different languages. So we've got jQuery as a library for JavaScript, Code Igniter for PHP. Um, and we've also got things like um, WordPress and YII here as well. Um, so this is brilliant and we can filter. I've got my filter set to PHP. So if I wanted to go ahead and look up a function, you can see we can come and type something again like str to lower. And then that's going to give me uh, this. And clicking through to this will go through to the relevant um, online manual as well. Now, another really brilliant thing about this is if you're a beginner and you're working with perhaps larger files or multiple pages, uh, we've got this brilliant collection of, uh, here. So in the uh, variables group, we've got name, which obviously we've created a variable name. If we had a function somewhere, let's just call this um, output, for example. Now, as soon as we've, oops, sorry, as soon as we've created this function, um, we have access to um, here. So we've got output. So this is going to list functions, variables. Uh, we've got classes and interfaces. So um, any interface that classes can implement based on uh, a method definition um, includes, which is a really, really useful one as well. Uh, and as well for HTML, JavaScript and CSS with selectors includes as well with CSS. Uh, that's really useful. And again, for for JavaScript as well and keeping management of larger files. Um, the last thing which is brilliant as well is we've already touched on it slightly over here and over here, but we have um, plugin support for really popular libraries for different languages. So I've already explained jQuery, um, Code Igniter is another one, you know, a PHP uh, framework. Um, and WordPress, again, uh, a really, really popular um, blogging platform, if you like, or really a CMS now, uh, as it's uh, probably better known for. So uh, that's Code Lobster PHP Edition. Uh, if you go over to um, their official website, which will be in the description for this video, uh, go ahead, download it and play around, particularly if you're new or just sort of intermediate and you need something to, you know, better manage your uh, your files and, you know, uh, everything that we've explained in here and uh, it could really help some some people out so that uh, that's my review or very short overview rather of code lobster uh, php edition